Hey everybody, Joe Joseph here for thedailysheeple.com, and this is your new shot. The Independent has um, a, a brilliant piece that really, um, all I gotta do is say hoorah to all you tinfoil hatters out there who for years and years and years have been talking about the dangers of GMO, the dangers of your pesticides and your roundups and all of this nasty crap that have caused cancer and birth defects. Well, all of your protesting, all of your making noise has caused science and academia to really take a look into the harmful effects that these chemicals can be causing on us. And wouldn't you know, this piece, Pesticides Linked to the Birth to birth abnormalities in a major new study says the sheer size of the study and the meticulous way it was carried out suggests that there's an environmental hazard for mother res- mothers resident in an area with large scale pesticide usage. Now, I'm sure many of you out there that are listening and watching this right now are not surprised by this. That if you live by an area that has a high pesticide rate, why then? you're probably going to get sick or something bad's going to happen. Interestingly enough, we look at the outbreak of microcephaly that was blamed on the Zika virus. And in the independent media community, it has been commonly known that Zika was kind of put out there as a screen because Monsanto and these big... uh, Big chemical companies, Bayer, uh, there's other ones, their products are commonly known down in South America, or not so commonly known, I should say, but there is large outbreaks of microcephaly where certain herbicides and pesticides are used by these companies. Just happens to be a coinky dink, you know? And then you look in the United States where these companies are very prevalent and they're, there's widespread usage of their product. Wouldn't you know it? Microcephaly is showing a big increase congruent to what's going on down in South America. So it's happening down in South America where you have widespread use of this stuff. Up here in the United States, same thing. You're seeing the same uh, curve or increase in cases of microcephaly where you have the the usage of these products. You go over to Europe where they've banned this stuff, guess what? Microcephaly is not a problem. These birth defects and abnormalities, they're not seeing it as much as you do over here in America. It says here, high exposure to pesticides as a result of living in your farmer's fields appears to increase the risk of giving birth to a baby with abnormalities by as much as 9%. The research from the University of California, Santa Barbara, compared 500,000 birth records from people born in the San Joaquin Valley between 1997 and 2011 and levels of pesticides used in the area. The average use of pesticides over that period was 975 kilograms for each 2.6 square kilometers per year. But for pregnant women in areas where 4,000 kilograms of pesticide was used, the chance of giving birth prematurely rose by about 8%, and the chance of having birth abnormalities increased by about 9%. Writing in the journal Nature Communications, the researchers compared this to the 5-10% to increase adverse birth outcomes that can result from air pollution or extreme heat. Now, concerns about the effects of harmful environmental exposure on birth outcomes have existed for decades. Yeah, and a lot of it has to do with The research done by independent media, citizen reporters, activists, people that know that they're doing harm to us and what right do they have? Because we really have no say in it. You know, they go ahead and they do this stuff. Do they ask us first? No, they just go ahead and they do it. And then, oh, by the way, they lobby the hell out of Congress to give themselves immunities and everything like this. I mean, does anybody remember like the Monsanto Immunity Act of a couple of years back where Congress actually actually gave them immunity 
for a, a span of like a couple of years? I mean, it's un, it's unprecedented. It's unheard of. The only other place you really see it is the vaccines. And of course, you know that they had to give immunity for vaccines because they're so damn harmful. Yeah, they had to protect their bubbas and big pharma. This study is an amazing insight into just how harmful these pesticides are. And what's interesting is, is you really don't need it because if you take a look at organic foods, organic foods seem to go just fine without these harmful pesticides. And there are plenty of natural alternatives that can really be beneficial. The problem is it costs more. And the ultimate end result is people would have to, you know, eat less, which (laughs) let's be real. A lot of people in the United States could probably go with eating less, but they would eat less if the food that they ate was more nutritious and was healthier for them. They probably would eat less because they're getting more out of it. So this is interesting. And I'll be, I was wondering why I'm starting to see uh, ads on on the TV for lawyers that are looking for class action lawsuits against Monsanto and, um, and other chemical companies that manufacture these things because of the effects, the health effects that are being experienced by people with prolonged exposure. And I, I can't help but remember the interview I saw maybe a little while back of a Monsanto executive saying, Oh, no, Roundup's perfectly safe. Why, if I had a glass of it right now, I would drink it. And, of course, the producer, who just so happened to have a glass in a container of Roundup, poured it into a glass and said, well, here you go. And it was like a record scratch. Huh? You actually have it? No. And he wouldn't drink it. Of course he wouldn't drink it. You know why? Because he would probably, well, you know, die. Yeah. This is the problem that we have with America, folks. Just because they spew lies over and over again doesn't make them true. Just because they keep telling a lie over and over again doesn't make it true. We have to stand up for what's right. We have to stand up for the truth and maintain the moral high ground. And if we do that, their their house of cards will fall. But you have to be persistent and we have to be consistent in our pressure and our accountability. And if we can do that, folks, we can make a lot of change for the good in this country. We really could. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's News Shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website at TheDailySheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.